All right, hey, hello, VC world, what's going on? A friend stopped by. Look who's here. This is my friend Greg. This is exciting to be here. What's going on, Greg? <laughs> not much, man. Not much. All it's, right. it's great to see it from this angle back here. Well, I'll tell you what. Well, you're you're amongst the uh, many vinyls back there. I know. I, and you know what? I every time I watch this base has never been moved. Can I move it? No, go ahead. Yeah. Because I'm always like, well, I should just. I should just move it a little bit. It's always in the same spot. Well, it's actually, it looks like it is, but if you look at some of those videos, it moves. It does move? Oh, okay, this is well. my practice base. Ah. Yeah, so I'm actually All playing right. it quite a bit. I, I thought maybe you were staging it to look mm. right, but no, it's real. It's real. Uh-huh. You know, um, I was telling you folks that Greg and I um, met recently um, through his wife and that we've been threatening to do something and uh, looks like we're gonna do it aren't yes we? Okay. finally threatening is the right word finally our schedules came together and uh, uh, what is it May 1st, May 1st at Olivers like, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, I came up with this idea because we were trying your schedule is just crazy so we were trying to get time together where we could while you're in town yeah do a band or write music or whatever mm -hmm. and then our schedules never worked out so I sort of I had all of April off and you were in town so I was like Let's do a show called Eklund Higgins 30 Days, where we all the music that will be performed is the music that's performed in the 30 days of writing starting April 1st. Yeah. Which is weird to be promoting something that we haven't even done yet. You know what mm -hmm, I mean? Like mm -hmm, the show's mm -hmm, May 1st. Mm -hmm. We haven't even gotten together to rehearse at all, but we no. have 30 days in which to do it. So. Which I think is very exciting. You know, music is a living force. And so all we have to do is be open to it and things will happen. I, I think so, I think so. Especially with the, the t t two times we've gotten together, yeah. being able to play, I think we have a, a certain language that we can speak, so. It vibed up pretty good. Um, yeah. you, you folks that follow me know that I talked about Greg earlier about that time we played a couple times. The fact that you are raised in England and have a lot of West Indies and stuff influence, would yeah, you say? I think so, just because I grew up for four years in England from the ages of 8 to 12, which is kind of, that's at least in my experiences, important. that's when people get into music, is very that time, right? Very formative, yeah, yeah. Very formative time. And yeah. so what I found is that growing up in England, I was into, like, the specials and the English beat and the jam and ska and all that stuff that was, like, it, that was, like, pop radio in England at the, or Adam and the Ants. And when I came back to the States, everyone was listening to, in 82, was listening to, like, ACDC and mm -hmm. Van Halen and... I just was never sort of into that because I kind of already mm -hmm. been imprinted earlier on yes. with my music, you know, and so yeah. I've always had a little bit more of a world beat focus. And, and I love it. It really shows in your playing. And so like I say, you know, you hit that pocket pretty quick when we play. I it, love it. Well, so. it's easy playing with you. That's for sure. <laughs> so I'm excited about this, you know, and you'll be hearing more about it. Hopefully when the thing happens, it'll get videotaped if it's worth it. I'm sure it will be, I, you know. <laughs> I hope it will be. But I don't know. I mean, that's it's I make a joke about it, but it's we don't really know what we come up with mm -hmm. and whatever mm -hmm. it is. It may be amazing, it may not be. I suspect it's going to be amazing. But my joke is that if we don't come up with anything, it's going to be 45 minutes of silence. Well, I can hear something in my head already, to yeah. be honest with you. Well, and I, the, the thing that's exciting to me is in my in my studio at home, I've started to just take away the sort of standardized drum setup that I would have mm -hmm. for recording sessions mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. rock band or whatever. Mm -hmm. And um, trying to apply some electronics and mm -hmm. some running stuff through guitar pedals. But I've really stripped it down right now. And we'll see when you come over if stuff gets added. But right now it's really simple. And so mm -hmm. I'm just kind of curious what you're going to bring and what I'm going to bring and then what we can do together and, and, and where it goes. But it's a huge palette right now that's empty. I'm open to it. Yeah, let's paint some colors. That reminds me actually of when we were just talking about me seeing Judith Owen with um, Brian Ferry. Her percussionist didn't use a drum set. Um, but he was really good in full. He played on a percussion box. Have you ever seen? Oh, the uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, and some uh -huh. shakers. And it's like, man, he didn't even. That was it. That was her percussion. I yeah, mean, that, that was the drummer. He did a whole drum thing with just the percussion box, a cymbal, and a few shakers. Right. So it's like anything can happen. Anything can happen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm glad that uh, Greg stopped by, and we could just do this quick video, and um, you know. Um, you know, it's exciting to become friends with people whose music I followed. Because as I've told you before, and I'll say it here on camera, back when Everclear was happening and 120 Minutes was happening and all that alternative music, you guys, so as commercial as you seemed, you still stood out to my ears as authentic, as real. Yeah, I think so. I mean, 
I definitely think the earlier stuff more so perhaps yeah. but I mean but Art as a songwriter was much more involved in sort of like country music and roots music and stuff when he was younger coming mm -hmm. up so I think I think he kind of came from that that perspective like and like people like X and stuff were like his songwriting hero so yeah. I think there was a certain grit to it so there was in yeah. the beginning yeah, yeah. and then yeah. I think we we d discovered a formula that got us on the rock radio and we kind of followed that but I, I well, that's what I, they want you to do isn't it well you know <laughs> that's what we wanted to do too at exactly. the time but I think um no regrets right no regrets no regrets no, got Fantastic. me here with you on the on the camera cast and yeah in the, the records in, behind yep. and, and I'm in your collection totally so totally folks can't you know beat that. all right well I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and sign it off here because it's a quick one I can upload this and in less than an hour you can watch it okay my folks will be thrilled Awesome. You know my mom and dad watch you now. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's going on, people? Hi, mom. Hi, dad. All righty. Well, you know that I got a foul mouth sometimes. Of course, we'll let your son. <laughs> please, please. <laughs> Don't matter none. Don't matter none. As I get older, I realize so do they. You know <laughs> no doubt. Yeah, we keep it real. We keep yeah. it real. Okay. Yeah. And then he also gave me... um. A recording of the podcast I did at this place. I, we don't yeah, know. We yeah, don't. I don't. I'm not sure yet. I just uh, now that I was leaving Omaha, I just I really I had this idea before, but like with everything, it lit a fire under me to the people that I met in Omaha that have just been really cool and interesting. I wanted to start interviewing them and do podcasts, do a podcast for it. So you were the first, and um, my honor. There'll my be honor. more to come, but I haven't quite figured out where it's going to be available. When I do, I'll let you know, and you can yeah, pass it along. I will. I'll pass it along. Okay, guys, be cool.